from your local news leader. This is KTTC News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Caitlin Alexander. Brock is on assignment tonight. Minnesota State Trooper Shane Roper is facing nine charges in a crash that took the life of an 18-year-old in May. According to the criminal complaint and his personnel file, he had a history of past crashes or traffic incidents behind the wheel of a squad car. KGTC is now taking a closer look at those incidents. Tonight, we've received these dash cam videos from the prior crashes Roper was involved in. Our Noah Kaplan joins us live in the studio with that footage you can only see here on KGTC. Noah. Caitlin, Shane Roper's personnel file shows he was involved in four separate crashes while operating a Minnesota State Patrol vehicle. Now, thanks to a public records request, we have the dash cam footage to show you. I'll go through each instance chronologically. Let's start in February 2019, Highway 14. The squad car in front of Roper appears to be slowing down. Brake lights are on and Roper doesn't slow down. He crashes into the side of the vehicle. The airbag gets deployed, you see there. And in the audio, you can actually hear someone let out a moan. Roper received a letter of reprimand for this. The file says the driver of the car he crashed into was injured and both vehicles had significant damage. Roper did not have its lights or sirens on here. The next crash now is in May 2021. This crash happened at the three-way stop by the Casey's in Rochester at the corner of Valley High Road and 7th Street Northwest. You see here Roper approaching the intersection and appearing to speed up as he goes past his stop sign. His lights and sirens not on here and he hits the backside of a car that already entered the intersection. For this, Roper had eight hours of vacation stripped away. Now to December 2021. Roper is driving in Dodge County at what appears to be twilight where he speeds up and hits the backside of a deer with his hood. His file says that his car was traveling 22 miles over the speed limit at impact here and neither his lights nor siren were on again. For this, he received another letter of reprimand. Lastly, now to April 2023, Roper is on the 6th Street entrance ramp to Highway 52. When he notices the speeding driver, you see him accelerate quickly as he merges on 52. His file says at one point he was traveling more than 90 miles an hour. Now, as he's exiting on the 16th Street ramp, he is visibly going at a fast speed and thus loses control of the car and crashes into the cable wire on the, the cable wire that is on the left side of the road. For this, Roper was issued a one day suspension. Again, all of these instances sharing two common themes. His lights and sirens weren't turned on and he was speeding or disobeying traffic laws. A recent warrant obtained by KTTC says Roper was traveling at at least 70 miles an hour on May 18th when he crashed into the Ford Focus with 18 year old Olivia Flores as a passenger, killing her. This crash, to remind you, happened at a 40 mile an hour speed zone. Live in the studio tonight, Noah Kaplan, KTTC News.